When the cold rolls in, it's time to turn on the heater and cozy up with a book. But turning up the heat can mean higher electric bills. And for some families in tough times, that could mean choosing between a warm meal or a warm house. For decades, people like you have extended a hand to help local families in need pay those winter electric bills. Share the warmth this winter to help keep your neighbor warm by giving a little when you pay your Grant PUD bill. The Department of Homeland Security teamed up with the Grant County Sheriff's Office to test the latest in communications technology at the Gorge Amphitheater. The two-day program, partnering Grant County first responders with DHS Science and Technology and the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, tested a number of innovative technologies to help first responders become better protected. The Gorge Amphitheater, which can provide communications challenges during emergency situations, served as the perfect backdrop to three scenarios, which included a search and rescue mission, a wildfire encroaching on the amphitheater, and locating a hostile suspect at the campground. In the search and rescue exercise, a tech rescue team rappelled down the cliff behind the main stage while the sheriff's office drone hovered above, feeding the command center live video showing first responders' locations. The technology also allows for the drone video or video shot from a cell phone on the secure network to be viewed by anyone on the network. Tracking technology also provided locations for first responders on maps displayed at the dispatch center, command post, and agency smartphones through a mobile app. Several first responders participating in the program also wore what's called a Hexoskin Smart Shirt, which can sense heartbeat and breathing rate, skin temperature, and movement. Those readings are then transmitted to the wearer's smartphone and relayed to the command center. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. Oh, <laughs>